video is a demonstration to control an Agilent N5765A power supply using Daisy Lab software via a National Instruments GPIB interface. Hopefully by the end of this demonstration you'll be able to hook one up yourself and control your test set. First I'll show you the manual mode setup with the worksheets and I have some uh, screenshots of close-ups of the control blocks. So right now we're running and you can see the power supply down in your right hand corner. I want to bring up some amperage first because we're doing both current and voltage control. Now I'll bring up the volts over here to about 4.3 volts. I know it's kind of hard to see the screen in a minute we'll go further in but I just wanted you to see how the power supply is responding. So I'm going to turn down the power supply amp to 2 amps. And bring the bolts up a little bit, 5.5, but you see the power supply didn't respond because it's currently running. So let me bring up the supply, and now you'll see I jumped up to the voltage that I commanded. So I have full control over the power supply manual. Alright, so let's switch to the worksheet mode for manual. There's the complete worksheet, not a whole lot to it. But I'm going to focus on the GPIB input and GPIB output blocks. Okay? So here's GPIB input. And you can see it's a pretty simple setup. You got uh, the, the user here asking to measure volts DC. And my second channel is to measure current DC. That's all I did. And if we go into the hardware setup, it's looking at the address of the power supply. In this case, it's five. And then we have some options. And this is where it kind of gets tricky. So I have some screenshots I'll show you closer here. But this is how you need to set it up or you're not gonna read anything. Right, so let's get out of that one. Here's GPIB output. In this case, I'm using those variables. Variable 200 is my voltage select. Variable 201 is my current select. And hardware, once again, address 5. And that's pretty much all there is to this block. You just got to get these commands right or it won't work. All right. So the variables are the same variables that I'm using for my sliders, for power supply bolts, and power supply amps. Here's my variable right blocks. Volts going to variable 200. All right, here we are back at the manual mode screen where I just have the sliders commanding voltage and current over here on the right. So you can see we still have full control there. And now what I want to do is go to the automatic mode screen. In this case, I used a uh, worksheet load feature. So we hit this little magic button and now it loads up the automatic screen. So let me take you through the worksheet and then I'll show you how this functions. Automatic mode, we're gonna go into the worksheet and there's the full block diagram for the worksheet. I use the same GPIB input and output blocks. They're configured the same way as manual. In this case, I have a sequence generator. And the sequence generator has a little program in here where it's commanding my output voltages and current, and it's time. So I got five seconds on, a second to transition, another five seconds to hold, so on and so forth. And at the bottom, we have a go-to loop that goes back around and does it again, all right? So that's sort of the sequence generator, and what it's doing is it's feeding this action block. And the action block is pointing at variables 200 and 201, which is my voltage and current, and it just gives different values to those settings to give me the output that I need on my power supply. And it'll loop around and do that forever. So it's kind of nifty. Let me uh, put it in automatic mode and see what you think. Here we are in the automatic mode. The power supply is standing by until I hit the auto on. In this case, my test is going to put out five volts and I'm going to step from zero amps, one, two, three amps, and I'll loop around and do it again. So we'll hit auto on and the sequence starts. You see the indicator lights to the right, we're at zero amps, so obviously zero volts. Okay, now we're gonna give her an amp to the power supply. And of course, we can't go to five volts because we're current limited. Here comes two amps. 
We're almost at five, okay. Three amps to see how close we get. Oh, a little shy still, because we're still current limiting. And we're gonna go back to zero, and the process will start over. I have this set up to continuously loop. So if you envision a little bench test that you want to do that was perfectly timed, here you go. Hit auto off, and let's go back to our manual screen. We'll punch the magic button over here. And there we are back in manual. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the little demonstration of this power supply setup via GPIB. As you can see, Daisy Labs is a very powerful yet fairly easy program for your data acquisition or software control. Thanks.